name is Betty. Um, I want to document fixing up my room. I, I need to take out everything. I want to paint the walls. I'm an artist. I like to do watercolors, colored pencils, and now I started with um, digital art. So I wanted to document my process because I'm selling things online and I wanted you guys to be part of it. So I hope you enjoy. I'm going to put like a quick, you know, painting of the room and I hope you enjoy this process. This is my room. It was a big mess. I was away for a little while. I went to visit my son and he lives in West Virginia. So when I came back, I realized <laughs> I needed to do something fast. So um, I started picking up and I basically took everything out section by section and I put it in the living room. So my living room was a mess for a while. Um, you'll notice a couple times I hesitate and I stop and I start to think uh, what I was going to do next. And it was because I, you know, it was overwhelming. So I took like a section at a time and I started to like organize. I need to go through all these boxes and my bins to make sure I clear out everything but I just didn't want to do that in this run because it was just going to be too much and it was going to take too long. What I wanted to do was basically um, do like a little workstation that I could sit down at night, do videos, um, draw or paint and you know have a, my own little quiet space. As you notice, I used to use this table um, for art, but you know, I just have too much stuff on there. And I have a printer, I just got like a Cricut machine, I have a scanner, and it was just too messy. The way the table's set up, it's really hard to put your legs under the table because it has these leaflets that open up to hold the table together. Okay, so I start folding clothes and hanging my clothes putting things away, throwing out clothes, throwing out miscellaneous items, you know. Um, I worked through the entire day and night. I brought in my ladder because I'm gonna start to paint the edges. This is a little celebration. <laughs> My son brought mimosas, so I took a little break and I drank a little. This is why I never get anything done. <laughs> okay. So here are my supplies. Start patching up the holes in the walls. This is like an old house, and the problem is, whenever you do a hole, like it shatters, like, <laughs> behind it, like, um, the walls are made out of concrete, and it's really, really hard, like, to hang anything up. If you notice, there's some pictures that I left up, and I'm not going to move them for now, because every time I, you know, I have to hang a picture, I make a huge hole. Right now the walls are light blue, but I'm painting them white because I wanted to bring some lightness into the room and I wanted a fresh coat of paint. And for whatever reason I had left like the pan the for the roller like all the way <laughs> all the other way and across the room and I don't know why I did that I don't know why it was so far um, this door is also looking so dingy it was an off-white at one point I'm sure but when you look at it now it's like yellowish um, I just painted the color um, we have it sealed my brother's bedroom is in the other side but it's sealed and it never gets opened. This is a quilt that I started and I never quite finished. So I am just hanging it up because I figured, well, let me just use it up. I used um, like a staple gun and I just stapled it like to the wall. 
I'm never going to finish it. It doesn't have a backing. It's just like one sheet, you know, one roll of fabric cut into little pieces. The pictures on the side are the ones that I told you, like, I'm not going to move them because they're impossible, like, to get another hole. I did put up a shelf, and again, I really struggled with this because the wall, you know, I had to use heavy-duty anchors <laughs> because that is, like, a really old wall. So this will probably stay up for a very long time. Just like the curtain rod, you know, whatever you put up, you don't want to take down. Then I realized, well, the shelf is uh, way too high. I'm trying to reach it, and it's like, <laughs> I can't even reach it. So I'm just going to put things up there that I don't need to reach. I'm trying to move around furniture, and I'm really having a hard time. I finally got it moved with the help, you know, probably you know, from my family. Um, I put contact paper because this is like a very old dresser and I've had it for years and years and years. It used to belong to my mother and so I put contact paper on there. It might not be permanent but at least it'll stay there for a little while and it looks really nice. Um, I got a TV for Christmas from my sons. I have two boys and I'm trying to set up the TV, but of course, um, I did the legs wrong, so <laughs> my son had to come and save me again, and he helped me set it up. This is a wire shelf that I bought. I wanted to have more space, because you've noticed in the hallway, I put the other little shelf that I got from Ikea. This one I got from Amazon. Um, the reason I got a wire shelf is because they're so sturdy and they last forever. And I didn't want it to get dusty. I'd rather have like those, you know, brackets, wire brackets. And they are so easy to put together. You know, you don't need tools or anything. This is my new Cricut machine. I just got it. Um, I still don't know how to use it. <laughs> But I figured I have it. I'm going to start, you know, doing a couple stickers and stuff. Okay. Now I'm putting together my desk. I got this at Amazon. It's a really cute, small desk. And I put it together all by myself. And hopefully I can use it at night to work on my little workstation. It was fairly easy to put together. I love the size. I think it's perfect for that little area. This is my workstation. I got a couple little lights and I got like this arm for my phone so I could take videos. So I'm changing the bed sheets. I got a really cute like little rose bed sheets. I figured, you know, I wanted to start fresh. Everything in the room, you know, is pretty fresh. This is Belle. That's my little doggy. Okay, and we're almost done. Now this is the after video. I'm so happy with my new room. It feels like a new room anyways. It's you know nice and I hope I can maintain it like clean and organized for a while. Thank you for watching with me.